Hi, this is Pastor Rick. I want to talk to you about how to have peace even when it seems like there's a storm going on around you. We've had a lot of wind in our area this past week and even today with roofs damaged and trees torn out and so forth and yet the Lord says something in uh, Philippians chapter 4. Uh, here's what the Bible says. It says, Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say, rejoice. I was thinking, sometimes you just don't feel like rejoicing, like when a tree falls on your house or in your garage. I had one, one guy, I guess a tree fell on his garage. He was just parking the car in the garage and just got out like nine seconds before the car was crushed. And I got to tell you, that's a close call. But how in the world do you keep your joy when tragedy strikes in your life? Well, the Bible says rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I'll say rejoice. Let your gentle spirit be known to all men. The Lord is near. If you were to realize how close God is to you all the time, listening to you, watching you, um, listening in on your thoughts even uh, because he really knows you that well because he cares about you you would not be so afraid because you realize I got somebody that loves me he has all authority and all power and all resources he cares so much about me he knows everything I'm doing and whenever I go through trouble guess who's there God is he's right there you don't have to look very far he's right there trust me he says uh, be anxious for nothing. Now that's, again, easier to say than it is to do. But he says, be anxious for nothing. Don't worry. In everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all comprehension, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Well, I like to have joy, but I really need peace in my life. It says the peace of God which surpasses all comprehension. Another, another way it says all understanding. In other words, we just can't grasp it. It's beyond us to understand how God gives us peace even when we're going through hard, difficult, or troubled times. He says that this peace that God gives us not only surpasses our ability to understand it, but it guards our heart and our mind in Christ Jesus. Well, I've told people, the reason I don't give you a piece of my mind is I don't have enough left to waste. I've got to hang on to it. But when it says here, it'll guard your heart. We all need a heart in order to live. If you allow things to cause you to be anxious, and troubled, and angry, and upset, it is really not good for your well-being. Not good for your heart. It's not good for your... Uh, relationships with other people it just it's hard on your sleep there isn't anything good about it but when you have the peace of God by trusting God no matter what you're going through you can have this peace of God that is so amazing I would not trade the peace of God for anything in the world and I mean that he said it will guard your heart and your mind so if you want to keep your mind healthy and you want to keep your heart healthy, what you need to do is put your trust in God and listen to Him and don't get so worried and anxious about everything. Instead, enjoy the process of rejoicing when everybody else is worried and you're not, okay? If you have any questions about that, come and check it out. Ask me. I'd love to help you find the answer.